everyday friends. It's a surprisingly, oh. <laughs> surprisingly beautiful morning. Yeah. Birds are chirping. This place is pretty rad. It's like I'm in a mall. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Wish it were under different circumstances. Yeah. I feel like Lucas is kind of like a ticking time bomb right now because I haven't been able to feed him since 3.30 and he normally eats every two hours about and it's, it's, it's been over two hours and so he's awake right now and I just feel like any moment, any moment he's not going to be very happy. To be honest, I'm getting like, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't know if it's just because like, I'm nervous about him getting hungry and crying, or if I'm nervous about his results. It's like all of it. It's, it's like, like all, all of it. it. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's extremely uncomfortable. Regardless, he's going to be thoroughly loved. <laughs> you just always want what's best for your children, you know? scheduled to start in about 15 more minutes, so I imagine they're gonna come get him any minute now. Start taking him back. On the plus side, little man has been so good. Awesome, he's been so awesome. He has not eaten since three in the morning. It is now seven. Being an absolute rock star. So why do you wake me up every two hours? <laughs> he knew, remember yesterday he was cluster mm -hmm. feeding. He knew. He, he knew. Was up for this. He was like, He's giving me a couple smiles, like half asleep, like, hey mom, don't worry. Everything's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Little man, you're doing good. General anesthesia, MRI. He'll be back there about 90 minutes, which is gonna be the longest hour and a half of my life. <laughs> Sometimes with small babies, you have to put a breathing tube in, uh, but I'm gonna try not to do that. Um, and wake ups are pretty fast, um, but with again, with small babies, it may be a little bit longer. Okay. That's okay though. And, um, it looked like he was pretty healthy though, other than the, um, it's the hemangiomas that they're doing this for. Uh -huh. Yeah, just okay. to make sure there's nothing else. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, otherwise he seems very healthy. You can be there with him if you want to okay. um, as he's going to sleep. And then once he's asleep, we'll just have you go back out to the waiting area. Okay. Um, if you're with him when he's asleep, uh, it looks a little bit funny. He might snore. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it's not like going to sleep at night, right. so I just kind of warn you about that. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. Dude, that legit looks like something like Stargate. Yeah. Wow. He's a smiler for sure. You guys saw the machine and they started the anesthesia and then the doctor said, okay, he's asleep, he did great. And I started crying because I knew I had to leave. Oh, is that why you were crying? Because yeah. you had to leave? And yeah, I knew I had to leave. I couldn't oh, be like with him. Why did you think I was crying? I thought you were crying because you didn't want to be there. Oh no, of course I wanted to be there. Oh, well then why didn't we stay? I don't, I didn't think they were going to let us stay. All you had to do was ask. Well, <laughs> you're the type of person that asks those types of things. I'm the type of person that just assumes and I do what they tell me. 
Yeah, so, so they... <laughs> so you're not a free thinker, got it. <laughs> no, not that. It's just they, they told us before that... I mean, I didn't even think we are going to be back, allowed back there. And then you asked, and they said yes. You should have just asked. I should have asked. I thought you Anyways. didn't want to be there. <laughs> no. I, didn't, I thought you didn't want to see him in that state. No, I, I'm right. totally, like, I'm comfortable with medical stuff, and I just didn't want to leave him, you know? It's been about an hour now. <sighs> Got about a half hour left. And they'll come get us. We had breakfast. I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. I had to get up at 4 a.m. so our energy levels are kind of... Excuse me, I got up at 3. <laughs> because I, I, had to, I had to make sure I fed him um, before 3.30. So I've been up early. I've had two cups of coffee so far. I'm actually feeling good. Today's, like, 3 o'clock is not that much different than what I do anyways. <laughs> so this is fine. This is just another normal day. So we're getting a little bit nervous. Um, it has been almost an hour over when they told us we'd be asked to come back. No one's come out to get us. We were the first people. Jess is asking now. Well, it's the verdict. They said maybe 15, 20 minutes. They said he's back in recovery, but... Okay. They said he's like, still waking up or something, but... They, they told us that they'd come get us as soon as like he wakes up, so... Wake up. Wake up, we guess. He did really well. He had a little bit of oxygen when he came out for me. So, but he did totally fine Good. for his little rest. Good. When they're so young, they keep them for two hours back here. I don't know if they told you that. Did. So, with when they're this little, I don't like to force them to wake up. I like them yeah. to just wake Slow up. Slow and yeah. comfortable. So. That makes sense. He took about an hour to wake up. <laughs> yeah. That explains it. Yeah. He can totally eat normal anything. Are you breastfeeding? Yes. Yes, that's great. You can. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, as soon as I can see that he's had some food and you feel like he's gotten some, just let me know if okay. you feel like he's gotten some, then I can take the IV out. Oh, finally on our way home. Man, that waiting room wait was the longest wait of my life. But it went well. He's still very sleepy. You guys just kind of waking up still. They said he might be a little out of it for for 48 hours. He might have little side effects from it. But hopefully sooner than later he'll start kind of acting more like himself. A little bit more awake. Um, but man, I'll tell you what. I am tired. Time for some nappies. Coffee is not gonna be enough today I need real sleep so that was we fast. we got the results um, just got home baby boy is he ate he didn't he, eat. he's still still, a, still little, a like, bit of a lump still a little silly a little silly are you still hungry here we weren't expecting these results so fast this is like super well, quick I actually checked on the way <sighs> home and they were already there but I didn't want to read them in the car. Now, the lady told us, so I've got the actual follow-up appointment um, with him later this week. And that's when the dermatologist will kind of tell us more details about it. Um, she said, but these are nice so you can kind of look up some of the verbiage, some of the language. That way when the doctor talks to us, we maybe understand a little bit better what she's telling us. Um, they don't up upload any images, so we won't see any images of any of the scans, but I'm hoping that we'll get to kind of see that on, on his appointment and, and maybe get more information about it. What does that say? These are the scans that he had. Oh, okay. You ready? MRA neck with without with, contrast. With and without contrast. MRI brain head with and without contrast. And then MRI face neck orbit with and without contrast. Here we go. Final report. What does this mean? Oh my gosh, yeah, good luck reading that. Okay, so... 
Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of words here that I don't understand. What the heck? Dude, it's like a long paragraph. Holy moly. Okay, so... You know, I like to think that I could go to doctorate school. But just reading that first sentence made my brain hurt. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so here's the thing. We don't know what this means. Um... So I'm not even going to try to read it to you guys because I don't want you guys trying to tell us what this means. I want to hear it from the doctor. I don't want... So so what I'm saying is we will share whatever it is when and if we're comfortable with it. Because I don't know what this means and I don't want other people telling to... me what this means until yeah. we talk to the doctor. So. Oh my gosh. I'm like ready to pass out. There's a lot, okay. of, a lot of big words. For a lot of brain. jargon. Um, okay, we've we've taken a look at it over the last I don't know 15 minutes or so. I still stand like where I said before, where I I don't want to share something that I'm not really certain of. Um, but it seems like there's definitely some abnormalities, but it seems like hopefully will not cause it's not necessarily cause for concern yeah is hopefully what i'm gathering i mean at the end of the day <laughs> we're not doctors <laughs> what does it all mean <laughs> like, seriously so yeah. many words that i've never even seen in my life before well, and we've it's been hard a... to make Make it make sense. It's just hard yeah. to make it make sense. That's the best way I can put it. We've been looking up all these terms and trying to... I mean, it kind of makes sense, but again, I think we're going to leave it to the professionals. We don't want to try and figure out what it is and then jump down the hole of WebMD. You know what I mean? Look at how lumpy he is. <laughs> I think everyone needs a nap. Yeah. You've been up since three. I've been up since four. When you've been sleeping a lot, though, you've probably got the best sleep of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go sleep, or I will put you to sleep. <laughs> That's what they did. They put you to sleep. You were getting so many compliments. I just uh -huh. love how lumpy. <laughs> like he, he is a little lump right he now. He is so cute right now. Today's been an exhausting day. My brain hurts after that result sheet thing. Does it really? Yeah. It's all foggy. Oh, it's just too much. <laughs> it's okay. You hungry? It's okay. Gosh, and your emotions were put through the ringer there waiting for him to come out of rest and recovery. That's not fun. To be told like an hour and a half earlier. <laughs> just don't say anything, guys. Just don't say anything. Yeah. Sometimes less is better. Sometimes less is, yeah, way better. We'll let you know when we're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rather than leave it to a postpartum mama's emotions to Gosh. think something could be wrong. Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> not, not fun. Somebody is looking more and more awake and giving me a smile. He was just smiling at me like, hey mom, I'm back. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but hey mom, I'm back. <laughs> I know. I can see it in your face. Hi. Did you have a good dream? Did you have a really good dream? What did you dream about? Was it like a big construction place? Did you see lots of trucks? I only see that because they say that MRIs are very noisy. But what was it like? I never had one of those. What was it like? You were out. You were just dreaming the whole time probably. Just good dreams, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm back, Mom. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. Hey, bud. You had another good snack. I call it a meal, actually. Oh, 
processing everything, you know what I mean? Just processing. But I'm happy to see ya. I'm happy to see ya. Oh, so good to see him and interact with him. We'll get you figured out. Oh, what are you talking about? Are you telling me all about it? What happened in there? What did they do in there, huh? What did they do in there? Well, we got your results. Not ideal, but you're just a little more special than we thought. We got some things going on and we're getting figured out. I guess here's what I can say. We don't know what's going on. Um, and we don't understand the severity of any of it. Um, from the sounds of it, I, I, I hope it's not anything severe. Um, it doesn't sound like it's severe, but oh, there's so many words and so many phrases and so many things in that report that I just simply do not understand and I need a medically trained person to explain them to me. But you seem like, you seem like you're doing good. We may have to schedule an appointment with a neurologist. I don't know yet, depending on what the dermatologist is able to tell us. I don't know. She might just say like, hey, looks like there's something going on. Schedule with a neurologist. I really don't know. I don't know. And I wish I could share more and tell you guys more, but I simply don't really know what's going on. So we'll just have to play the waiting game. But I'm so happy to see you back with us, like fully back with us. That's wonderful, wonderful. Mom's really tired, so tired.